So I'm really happy to finally introduce to you OpenJS Grid version 1.4. I know that you guys have been waiting for it for a while. Uh, just a quick note, as I've been making these videos, I know I've been making a lot of them, um, OpenJS Grid now has over 200 downloads, which is excellent because we just released a couple weeks ago, and I haven't been promoting it other than just on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys for downloading and playing with it, and I know that a lot of you are implementing it into your site, so I'm really happy to see that. So I'm introducing uh, 1.4, which brings a really, really highly requested feature, which is adding and deleting. Okay, this is a big deal. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the best way to implement this. This is the starter, the most case scenario, adding and deleting. I will be adding a more advanced adding and deleting in the future, but this is I think satisfactory for a lot of people. It's like very simple adding and adding deleting and I think that's what a lot of people want. So let's get right to it. So we've got our grid here with uh, a lot, it's got a, it's very editable, okay? So when you're doing a adding and deleting section, chances are you've got a lot of editable fields, right? Because the, the grid is editable data. So we've got, I've also changed the CSS a little bit to make it look nicer. Anyway, so we've got our date, we've got total you can select a transaction, number of items, etc. So, uh, last thing, first thing we'll do is we'll actually um, make n items editable. So let's do that first. So n items, uh, we'll say editable equals text. Okay. Save and refresh. Make sure. There we go. Okay, this is editable. Great. So, let's add. So to do adding, all you got to do is go up to our call, which is right here, and we're just going to add adding to true. That's all you got to do for adding. Save and refresh. And now we've got a new add button up here. The way adding works is it adds a new null row at the top. Okay? It basically sorts by primary key so that the newest row is at the top. Okay? It's a very simple way of doing it, but I think it satisfies a lot of cases. So if we want to add a new row, I'll hit add, and that actually adds. Um, a blank row. What it does as well is it, again, like I said, it organize, It gives you the latest entry first. That way the null row I just made shows up. So now that we've made a new row, I can set it. So I'm going to set a date. So 2011-02-15, okay. Uh, total, let's say 50. Um, this is not the kind of data you would actually be adding to. This is like a statistic grid, but you get the idea. And items, 5, discount code, and blah. Okay, and then when I'm ready, I can just hit save, and I've automatically saved that new row. So that's awesome. So now we've added a new row. If we want to add another one, add, it's going to add a new row to the top right above it. And you can see how that date translated, just in case you were wondering. So, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say we just made, so we got some blank rows here. We hate that. Let's delete them. So let's go into here and just add deleting, deleting to true. Okay, save and refresh. And now it actually adds a new column on the end here for delete. So it actually adds a delete button next to every row because you want to delete specific rows. Right? So um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add a new row like we did before. And let's say, oh crap, I didn't want to do that. So let's delete that. So we're gonna, we want to delete this row. So just hit delete and bada bing, gone. We got this row that we made earlier. Let's go ahead and delete that. Gone. And this row, gone. And the next row, gone. Like that. Beautiful. Now we're deleting rows. Um, in the very subsequent, I wanted to get this out, but in the subsequent release, 1.5, I'm going to add confirm. So you'll actually be able to add your own confirm here. So it'll say, hey, are you sure you want to delete? That's, so that's coming next, but for now, this is just deleting and adding. And you can see that's how easy it is. So how do you do it from the coding standpoint? Uh, it's under the philosophy we've been going under, so it's very easy. So we just go to our Ajax file. All we did is we added an is set for add, and we said grid add. Blatantly simple. And we did delete, and we say grid delete. Again, blatantly simple. Very easy to use. Why am I not automatically detecting this and letting it automatically happen? Why do you have to keep doing this elf, else if, else if? Because for security, okay? If I automatically allow deleting and adding, that allows anyone that's using your grid to just implement, just insert some JavaScript for deleting. Therefore, if you didn't want deleting to happen, you wouldn't have this code. And if they cause the act, like you, whatever, like that, it, it, they wouldn't, if you, if you didn't have your deleting code, it would look like this. This is just adding, no deleting. There, even if they were to have the delete button, 
it, the script would fail because it doesn't have the delete action. The delete function is never called. Okay, so it's a security measure that you, as the programmer, need to, need to put this line in. It's a very simple line to do, very easy to put in, but you have to do it. Now we've also added an extra piece here for the add function. We've added the set function, so grid set, right? So grid set, and that's going to be you're going to basically set a string. So I'm just going to. Uh, pull up my example here just so I have a reference because I wrote one of these earlier. So if you want to do a grid set, um, you would just do set equals like that. Now what would you want to set? I don't understand. Basically what it does is it inserts a null row. Well what if you have a grid that is a null row of say user data? Well you would want to insert a null row where the user ID equals blah. So that lets you set it here. So you would say, um, you know, say user ID equals Blah, whatever. Okay, so this would insert a new row with this extra data. Okay, so you can actually do that here, and let me actually do that. So you can actually do that here, so you can keep your grids under the same umbrella. Not all your grids are just going to be, you know, you're not going to just have a, a level one grid. Some grids are advanced, and you're adding a new row to a grid that's pretty complicated. And so doing that, you can add this set. It's very simple. Um, so that's add and delete. Another cool feature in 1.4 is support for the date picker, right? So what the date picker does is if you have jQuery UI, uh, so I have UI.js here, and in my index file I've added UI.js. What I can do is instead of saying text, so let's say the date, instead of saying editable text, I can say editable date, right? Save, and now when I refresh, nothing changes here except now when I click it, I get a date picker. Woo, date picker. It's really great, actually. This is uh, actually a requested feature. So now I can choose my date, and I see I've got my date format. Again, this is the same format my SQL uses, minus the time, so this is still safe, fine. Um, the way I've set that format, it's actually configurable right here. So date format. So you're actually able now to set your own format. Just go to the jQuery website and check out what they're doing there, but you can see how easy it is to just set that. So uh, there's also some under the hood improvements. If you're curious, I've completely rewritten the load function, not completely, but base this section here where it actually goes through and figures out what columns to edit. What happens now is it doesn't care what order the columns are in. Before it actually mattered. Before you couldn't, in your PHP, you actually couldn't set them in any order. Now, the only order that matters is this order right here. This is the order that the columns will show up in, as it should be. So I've rewritten that to make sure that that's what happens. So those are the updates for 1.4. Um, hope you download it and hope uh, we get from 200 to 500 as soon as possible. Again, 1.5 will be out with some more advanced uh, adding and deleting and some other cool features as well. So uh, glad we're advancing on this and glad you guys are downloading. Thanks again.